Hello, this is David Dean, and it's been a while since I did a subscriber series, and have, have been having a lot of people ask me to get another one of these up, and I actually got in here from Chow, um, LOL, and just an amazing home base. He has put a lot of time and effort in this, and just getting down here to do a run-through of it really quick. Uh, it is not necessarily set up all that much for defense. He definitely has help when doing Storm Shield defenses. But it is just a great um, home base as far as what he's built up with this gigantic castle look he has to his home base. And how many levels? One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, five stories up there. And... Actually, he had a really good way of building this, and from the sounds of it, he's getting ready to tear it down to use some materials elsewhere. But let's go ahead, and instead of using the normal stairs, I will head up here and head over into it. But yeah, you have a big open area in here, which I don't know if any of you guys ever played the game City of Heroes, um, you actually could do home super bases where you could decorate everything with furniture and put in tons of stuff and I wish they would do that um, but do it better than what they did in City of Heroes actually um, yeah they never really did all that well when they set that up but no we have this huge courtyard area up on the what fourth floor here um, really great but what I actually really enjoyed was up here on the top floor. Um, you have the great lookouts. As you can tell with his amplifiers, he's just doing a real basic build. Um, that way, um, basically, your um, other heroes, the four guys in the missions, are doing 99% of the defense. But up here, he has four towers and left space between them, but he made the jump pads so you can go from tower to tower and over to tower to get around really fast and easy and be able to check out the entire look of the zone from up here on the top and just a cool look to the walk areas here they has the um, floor piece where it is basically you take um, the two in ones to make a little row here diagonal then you use single pieces on the edge to give it a little rounded look coming out into the main area, which is just awesome. This big stair area is something he put in just to help me out so that I could get a look from it from a distance. Because actually this thing is kind of hard to get back far enough from to actually show all of it. Um, big, huge, awesome base. Really enjoyed checking it out. And I look forward to what else he'll be building up as far as design. Um, and also in Twine Peaks. Because you can just do some amazing building there where also you got the lava and everything else. Lava balls falling. But yeah, this basically looks like, to me, a great big um, prison building. For um, basically holding all the misfits of um, Fortnite Save the World. So there you go, um, another home base. And like I said, here on the second floor, it's open. He has defender pads on the sides and uh, open area here for the um, home base storm shield defense and even put up some zappers just to give a look to it, which actually is a pretty cool idea. So there you go, just another one of the subscriber series. I know I have slowed down on them, I have been getting invited into a lot of people's home bases to check out Storm Shield Defense or to check out their home base design and then when I get in they want me to build build it for them or I get in there and they're like okay I'm almost done I just have to redo this whole section so I've been a little hesitant for the last um, week or so to go in and actually be um, doing as many as of these that I would really like to be doing. But no, great job, Chow. This is just an awesome looking building. And I will go ahead and let all you guys go. And look forward to talking to you in future videos. Take care.